Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this new video about YubiKey. And in this video, I want you to show what happens when you enter your pin incorrectly for eight times, a situation that should never happen in real life. But since it's, uh, it could happen, error, mistake happens, it is important to understand which are the risks and why you should put grid care before reach the maximum number of pin attempt on your YubiKey. First of all, a quick reminder, when you sign in on a Microsoft account, as an example, with your YubiKey, you can sign in with a security key. And in this situation, the computer, the operating system is going to ask you a pin. And this is a strong protection to avoid someone using your key without knowing the pin. If you lose the key, if someone stole your key, the pin is protecting your identity because to use the FIDO2 part, to authenticate passwordless into your account, you just need to use the pin. Now, what is the problem if you forget the pin? Let's see what real happens. But remember, don't do this on your UBK because spoiler alert, inserting eight times the wrong key will force you to lose all credentials that are present inside the key. Now let's enter a wrong pin. The pin is incorrect, try again, and I can try again. The pin is incorrect, try again. I can try again. This is my third tentative on a wrong pin. And now I can try this four. Okay, now we see a first layer of protection inserted by YubiKey. Since I've already inserted three times, for three times an incorrect pin, it asked me to extract the key from the USB port and reinsert again. And this is a security measure used because maybe you insert the wrong key or maybe there is some sort of software attempt to erase the credential on your key. So you cannot, and nor a software that takes control on your computer cannot use eight times the pin to make your credential not useful anymore. After the third attempt in a row, yes, the software on the pin or on the key blocks you from every another attempt unless you physically extract and insert the key again. Now I'm going to remove my key, insert again my key, and now I can try again the pin. So it's my fourth attempt, fifth wrong attempt, sixth wrong attempt, seventh. And again, after three attempts in a row, I need to extract the key physically and insert again. Okay, and now it, it's also asking me to enter another code for continuing trying entering the pin. Since I've done six attempts in a row, there's something problematic. I have only two left tentatives, and so I have another layer of protection. I need to type a challenge phrase just to verify that I'm really in front of the computer and I know the risk of entering using my last two attempts. Now I'm typing the challenge, A1, B2, C3, and okay. And it is telling me if you enter an incorrect pin again, the device will be locked. So it is give you the last warning. You are going to lock your key. So I know, and I'm doing this on purpose and I say, okay, and the software is stopping. So it is telling me we couldn't verify you through the ski. Now you can try again. And too many incorrect pin attempts. So I can say A, one, B, two, C, three, oh, sorry, C, three. And I enter the pin. Okay, now this is my eighth tentative too many times and I need to cancel. So the key is locked. If you try again to use the key, it say tap your security key. So it, it doesn't even ask me the pin anymore. So the key is locked. So I have lost all the FIDO2 accounts that are stored inside this key. Even if you try to access from common line with the Ikiman XC program, FIDO info, it tells me pin is set, but it's been blocked. So the key is absolutely blocked. Please remember that the lock, the part of the key is the FIDO2 key. 
Uh, we see in a previous video that we can use the YubiKey with the Yubico Authenticator with um, the OAuth protocol uh, to have uh, the YubiKey store the seed of your QR code. So it's a standard two-factor authentication. And so when a site asks you for uh, using an Authenticator app, you can use Yubico Authenticator so you can store the seed inside the key. Now, if you use the command line to see what's in your key, everything should be fine. So you say accounts list, um, okay, I enter the pin. That is a different pin because this is the pin of the OAT part. And it say, okay, perfect. You have a YubiKey test demo outlook, outlook.com. So I've used the same key, not only for the FIDO part, but also to store the seed in the QR code. So I can even use uh, YubiKey um, code and the code, ask me the password and generate the code. So this is a valid OTP code for my test Microsoft account. So if you enter incorrectly too many times the pin of your FIDO2 part, the only problem it's in the FIDO2 part of your key. All the other function still works properly. Now, what you need to do to continue use your YubiKey for FIDO2 part is opening the YubiKey manager. You can do it by command line, but the YubiKey manager is easier. You choose application FIDO2 and you can try to change the pin, but it's it's almost impossible. So the change pin is grayed out. Now I'm going to enter my correct pin and I'm trying to change the pin, but yeah, you know, nothing happens. So the change pin, this button always remain uh, not um, working or always remain disabled. So what you need to really do is go into the FIDO2 part and reset FIDO. And it is asking me, are you sure you want to reset FIDO? This will delete all FIDO credential, include uh, U2F credential and remove the FIDO2 pin. And this action cannot be undone, but actually it's the action you need to do to be able to use your YubiKey again and type yes. And it say remove and reinsert your YubiKey. So I'm removing and reinsert my YubiKey. I need to touch my YubiKey and the FIDO application has been reset. Now, no pin is set, I need to set the pin and I'm going to set my pin again. And now I can set pin and the FIDO2 part, it's up to be used again. So now you can use again your YubiKey, but remember all your existing credential were lost. To really verify that your credentials are lost, now that I've reset my pin, I'm trying to sign in again to my Microsoft account. So I can press try again and it asks me the pin. As you can see, it does not tell me, hey, your pin is blocked. Now I can enter my pin. Now I'm entering the right pin. And it, asks, it tells me that this security key doesn't look familiar. That's because the site it does not find any related information about any Microsoft account inside my key because it, because it was reset. Now you just need to remove the registration of the key from your account, but you need to access with another credential. So usually you press back. Usually when you use YubiKey, you have a couple of YubiKeys. So when one gets lost or gets broken or you enter the pin too many times an incorrect value, you can enter with the other key. In this account, in this simulation, I have only one key. So I need to access with alternate um, way. So uh, usually I can use my uh, username and I can use my password. I have on my password manager. And since I've already tell the system that this browser is trusted, it, it uh, does not ask me the uh, security code. It does not ask me the code from the authenticator app. So I can press yes, and I should be able to enter. But remember, uh, sometimes you uh, will have no other way to enter because you don't have a trusted device. So you need to have another form of two-factor authentication for accessing your account. But remember that even if I have a browser that is still trusted, when you do some sort of advanced operation like changing advanced security option, the computer will again ask you for a second factor authentication just to verify that you are the person you are 
telling um, you are. So it asks you for the verification. Since I've already configured the standard QR code based two-factor authentication, I'm still able to access the security part of this account and I am not cut off. In this case, I have the key, so um, I can use the command line with the password of my OAuth to generate the code. Okay, so it's not, uh, I don't even need to have a phone. I pass the code and I press verify and I should be able to access my advanced tab of security of my account and use a security key. As you can see, I have a test key and I need to remove because this is my old key, the one, it, it's the physical key. The physical key is the same, but since I I was forced to reset the FIDO2 part due to too many pin incorrect attempts, I need to remove the key. And if I want to be able to use the key again, I can add a new security key. So I can um, use the very same procedure I've done before. I press okay, I, I, I press okay again. I press the pin, the right pin this time. I touch the key and test after reset. I give the name to my key and I say, got it. So actually the key was still operational. It's simply lost, it, it, it has lost all this previously stored credential on the FIDO true part, because as you can see, I was still able to use that key to generate my two factor authentication code for entering my advanced security. But remember, if your account is really important, it's your work account, um, I strongly suggest to use um, another a secondary email for having uh, another way to recover the, the account, or maybe you can use your um, multiple keys. So it is better to have two or three keys just to be sure that if one key is not operational anymore because you've lost, you too many times you enter the wrong pin, you still have at least one or uh, or two other keys perfectly working, just you are, uh, so you can be pretty sure you cannot risk to being cut off from your account in the event of a single key being not operational. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching and I'm waiting you for the next video on my YubiKey series. Goodbye.